So what's your problem with what I'm doing today? I, I don't believe Jesus is, is to be worshipped. Oh, you know I believe it's a form of like a false idol worship. Well, the Bible says God became a man. God was manifested in the flesh. If Jesus is God, should we worship him? I'm pretty sure God must not come down in physical form. And Regardless of how it happened, hey, if so Jesus is God, if, if Jesus is God, should we worship him? He's not God. If he is, if he is God, should we worship him? No. Even if he is God? No, because he can't be God. Your he message is satanic. No, but if he is God, we should worship him. But how can he be God? When he's the Bible the says God. that God took on human flesh. God took on human flesh. Mary was born of the Holy Spirit and the and his name is Emmanuel, which means God with us. That's what the Bible says. God with us. Jesus was his real name. Or Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeah. Yesu in the Greek. Yesu. Uh, the Bible says Emmanuel, God with us. God with us. He, he, he was God in the flesh, the perfect representation of the Father, and we should worship Him. That's your sin. You're not worshiping God. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. But, Je but the Bible says, if you, if, you, if you have the Son, you have the Father. If you have not the Son, you have not the Father. But where's an epic snake unraveling from a tree with an apple? I've never seen something like that going on. Uh -huh. so, so what are you saying? It didn't happen? Well, I can tell you, he came to me 18 years ago. Now? He's in my heart. He's in my life. He came to me 18 years ago when I was in a jail cell, and he touched me when no one else could. He changed my heart when no one else could. He, Yes, there's power in the gospel you can't find anywhere else, and that's the power to make you a new man, to give you a new heart, to make you a new creature. I know God. That's the power of I've met him. No, I'm not talking about a new location. I'm talking about a new mind, new heart, new vocabulary, new person, new life. Born again. I know God is alive. I know Jesus is alive. I talked to him today. I spoke to him today. No, no, no. Do you think? Do you think you have demons? What? Do, are you demon possessed? Because all the things you're speaking are anti-Christ demonic. They are. Oh, you're making excuses. We're all sinners. We're born sinners. Jesus isn't God. Oh, the virgin birth didn't happen. All these satanic blasphemies. Jesus isn't. Uh, uh, you say God. You say where is God today? Maybe the maybe the apple and snake didn't happen. You know. I'm just I'm just wondering. Asking. I'm, I'm just asking you. Do you think? Is not. The devil. Do you think you're demon possessed? The Bible says it's time to repent. God is calling all men everywhere to repent. When was the last time you repented of your sin? Never? Never? The Bible says God is calling all men everywhere to repent. That means you. You can't hear. Or you can't talk. You can't hear. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Bible's good for you. You got eyes that are working, you can read the Bible. The Bible says God is calling, God is coming.
commanding all men everywhere to repent. And I can see out here, Hamilton is a city full of sin. Drug addicts, alcoholics, homosexuals, lesbians, rock and rollers. Hamilton is a city full of sin. And it's time for you to repent. You say, why? Why should I repent? I'll tell you why. Because God is going to burn you forever. That's why you should repent. Because God is going to burn you forever if you don't repent. That's a good reason to get started. You know, the Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. What you people out here need is the fear of God. Any of you drug addicts, any of you drunkards. Why would I believe in a God? Because it's so obvious. And he claims that he is not like, that he's never sinned. When he can't even listen to his own parents. When his parents tell him to stay by like you, the devil. You don't want to hear God because you're a sinner. You got sin in your life. You don't want to hear God. No, 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 no. I'm born again. Hallelujah. I used to be a sinner. No, 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 no. I am born again. I am a new creature. He saved me from drugs. He saved me from alcohol. He saved me from wickedness. No, 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 no. You don't know the power of the gospel. I do. No, no. He makes sinners into saints. He can, he can, no, no. No, I realize that. But you just want sin more than God. That's your problem. Yes, you want sin more than God. You got all sorts of sin in your heart. I am Saint Jesse. I am Saint Jesse. No, you don't. You don't love God. You are a rebel against God. You are a criminal under the government of God. Yes, all your lust. All your greed, all your selfishness, God sees it. Right, He sees your. You better repent before He burns you alive. You better repent before He sends you to hell. I am holier than thou. By the grace of God, I'm holier than thou. By faith in Christ, I'm holier. Because I love God, I obey God, I serve God. You love sin, you serve sin, you live in sin. God made us all in His image. Yeah, but we you're distorting that image. You're God. distorting it by no, sinning. I'm you need not. to be born again. But you need to repent before God sends you to hell. You are there I choose sinning. by yes, grace to overcome sin. And there's power in the gospel to deliver you from your addiction, but to a, deliver you from your bondage. You there's again. power in the gospel to make you new. Admit it that you do. No, no, no. I'm here to testify of the gospel. He saves sinners from their sin. You don't have to be a filthy sinner. You can stop it. Stop sinning. You can stop it now. Yeah. What do you do? You get drunk. No. Sleep around with women, no, masturbate to porno. No. Yeah, well, your sin is not loving God. That's Very your sin. You children. don't love God. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. You think everyone's a sinner. You don't know the gospel. I do. The gospel is if I any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. And it says when two or more are gathered in my name, hey. I am there. It doesn't matter if you're a fucking, if you're a punk rocker, a Christian. Get on the corner or the junkie down the street. If two or more are gathered in his name, he is there. God says, stop sinning. Stop sinning. No excuses. No, no excuses. Yes, he does. John 8, 11. Go and sin no more. I used to smoke marijuana every day. I used to get drunk every night. When I met Jesus, I stopped it all. You need to stop your sin. You're a disgrace. You need to come under grace. Jesus came here to pave away so many. Yeah, he died to make you holy. He died to purify you. He died to deliver you. He died to make you new. I know the gospel. I'm quoting the Bible. Yes, I'm quoting the Bible. The Bible says he died to purify you from all wickedness. Well, Jesus hung out with the sinners. That's what I'm doing today. That's what I'm doing today. 
I'm, that's what I'm doing. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm hanging out with the sinners today. Just like Jesus. Yes. Jesus said, as many as I love, I rebuke. I'm rebuking you because I love you. I don't want you to die and go to hell. I don't want God to burn you forever and ever and ever. I don't want that to happen. So I'm here. I'm saying, stop getting drunk. That's nuts. Stop being a drunkard. That's crazy. You poison your own body with your money. That's nuts. That's nuts. Yeah. You need a poison. You need. You, you are so wise. You listening to your gangster rap, your rock and roll, poison your mind, read the word of God, fill your mind with the word of God. You got sin in your life. You say you're a sinner, you said. You say we're all sinners. That's not Christian. That's satanic. No, it's not. Sin is satanic. The Bible says, stop making excuses. Hey, your excuses don't fool me and they don't fool God. The Bible says, he that sins is of the devil. That's what the Bible says. Then you are of the devil. I used to be. I used to sin. I was a drug dealer, street fighter, gangster rapper. And then I met Jesus. No, no, no. By the grace of God, I overcome. There's power to deliver. Power to change. Power to make you holy. Power to make you new. You don't have to be a filthy sinner. You can be a holy saint. Pure and white in the eyes of God, by faith, by grace, by free will, you can overcome. Right. Yeah. And Not when God, when you've accepted God, right? And you're me. Right? Uh -huh. You're some dumb junkie, don't you? I have no idea who you are. I don't know what you, I just know this. You are resisting the gospel today. You are resisting the gospel, making excuses for sin, saying everyone's a sinner. That's not the gospel at all. The gospel is you can be born again. Jesus said, unless you are born again, you won't see the kingdom of God. All right. Are you going to be here next week? This is my only day. Sorry. Uh, I am online. You can find me on the internet. Oh, no, I want to finish this debate. I'm going to go get ready for it. Well, I want to finish it now. This is it, man. I need to do my research now. Well, I'm just telling you, John 3.3 3 says you must be born again. That means you go from being a sinner to a saint, from unholy to holy, from serving sin to serving righteousness, from devil to God. What you That's serve. what it means. That's what it means. What you serve is what makes you a servant of. If you serve sin, you're a servant of sin. If you serve God, you're a servant of God. Right, Who are you God, serving you today? Serve God and you, look like the world. you need to repent of your sinning. Stop I, serving sin. Right. The only way you can be forgiven is if you repent. That's right. You have to sin in order to repent. So let's sin so we could be saved. Is that so what you're you saying? Sin, hey, you've already sin. you've already sinned. And then you now repent. it's time to get saved. So now you're no, yeah. When you're saved, you become holy. You've already sinned. You don't have to keep sinning. Now you just need to get saved. Hey, the Bible says be holy. If you claim to be a Christian, the Bible says let him that names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. That's what the Bible says. Christ is nothing more than a sacrificial lamb. Yeah, to make you holy. Not me holy. Yes, he wants to. To I can go directly to God and screw him. Yeah. If you say in Jesus' name, amen, that doesn't happen. No, he died. He died to save his people from God, their sin, God a jealous God. not in their sin. Else, even his son That's right. What, gonna be jealous. Hey, when you sin, you're making God jealous. By, yeah, yeah, by any, any time that you sin, you're, you're making God jealous. Idol. Yeah. So stop sinning. So stop worshiping Jesus and worshiping false uh, idols. Jesus you is worship. God. No, he is yes. God. What did, Tom, what did Thomas say? My Lord and my God, he said to Jesus. Jesus never rebuked him. Who had a limit of 16 words. Now Jesus, the Bible says, God became a man. God was manifested in the flesh, the Bible says. Jesus is God. You know, if just read the Bible. All of a sudden, a beam of light came down and took this man back up. Uh, well, it didn't, didn't say a beam of light, a light, it was the clouds. He went away on the clouds. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus is God. Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. A UFO here. Uh, well, he, God is an alien. Yeah, he's out of this world. God is not of this world. Sure, God's an alien. No problem. You're right. Yeah, no problem with that. But Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. What are you going to do? Only the Bible says there's only one Savior. It's God. Only God is the Savior. Is the mothership the, like, 
the second coming is when the mothership comes back? Oh, Jesus is coming back, but he doesn't need a spaceship. No, no, no. He, no, the man who walked on water, the man who rose Lazarus from the dead, the one who walked through walls does not need a spaceship. Other people have but he, I tell you what, he is out of this world. Other yes, Jesus is that. not of this world. And you know what? I am an alien too. I am not of this world, the Bible says. Come out and be ye separate, says the Lord. I am a foreigner in this world. Yeah, I'm an alien, not an illegal alien, not an illegal alien. Uh, all, all Christians are separated from the world. You can't. You brought up. You brought up aliens. You brought up aliens. So what do you have in your life? What are you doing? That's sin every day. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. I do everything that's sin. Yeah, I don't believe you. I don't intentionally go. Oh, you got lust. Jesus said if you look at a woman with lust, it's adultery. It's not lust. It's not your wife. It's granted. I don't, you know what? It's not I your wife. wife. And if I look exactly. At God, I'm just respecting God's creation. No, no, no. You, you're oh, looking yes. with lust. No, I'm you not. got a lustful eye. You got a lustful heart. You know it's a sin. You know it's a sin. Yeah, so lying is on his list. Yeah. A wife and three kids, you said. You did. So My wife passed away, man. So, I see. Well, the thing is, when you I see... I breakdown and I haven't seen my kids in seven years. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sorry. Very sorry. When you look at a woman with lust, intentionally, never in your life... I'm not saying never. Uh -huh. I'm saying that I don't need more. I've grown up from that young child I once was. That's what I'm saying is you need to repent of sin. We've sinned in the past. We shouldn't keep sinning. We should love him, serve him, obey him. In the past. Why just yeah. It's the past for a reason. So what's your problem with what I'm doing today? I, I don't believe Jesus is, is to be worshipped. Oh, you know. I believe it's a form of like... Well, the Bible says God became a man. God was manifested in the flesh. If Jesus is God, should we worship him? I'm pretty sure God must not come down in physical form. Regardless of how it happened, hey, if so Jesus is God, so if, if Jesus is God, should we worship him? He's not God. If he is, if he is God, should we worship him? No. Even if he is God? No, because he can't be God. He your message is satanic. No, but if he is God, we should worship him. But how can he be God? When he's the Bible says that God took on human flesh. God took on human flesh. Mary was born of the Holy Spirit, and, the, and his name is Emmanuel, which means God with us. That's what the Bible says. God with us. Jesus uh, was his real name. Uh, or Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeah. Ye Yesu in the Greek, Yesu. Uh, the Bible says, Emmanuel, God with us. God with us. He, he, he was God in the flesh, the perfect representation of the Father, and we should worship Him. That's your sin. You're not worshiping God. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Je but seen but Je the Bible says, if you, if, you, if you have the Son, you have the Father. If you have not the Son, you have not the Father. But where's an ethnic snake unraveling from a tree with an apple? I've never seen something like that going on. Uh huh. So, so what are you saying? It didn't happen? No, I'm not saying it didn't happen, but where's God now? Well, I can tell you, he came to me 18 where's years ago. Now? He's in my heart, he's in my life. He came to me 18 years ago when I was in a jail cell, and he touched me when no one else could. He changed my heart when no one else could. He, yes, there's power in the gospel you can't find anywhere else, and that's the power to make you a new man to give you a new heart, to make you a new creature. I know God. That's the power of I've met him. No, 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 a new location. No, no. I'm talking about a new mind, new heart, new vocabulary, new person, new life. Born again. I know God is alive. I know Jesus is alive. I talked to him today. I spoke to no, him today. No, no, no. Do you think... Do you think you have demons? What? Well, I'm Do, demon possessed. Are you demon possessed? Not anymore. Because all the things you're speaking are anti-Christ demonic. 
They are. Oh, you make excuses. We're all sinners. We're born sinners. Jesus isn't God. Oh, the virgin birth didn't happen. All these satanic blasphemies. Jesus isn't. Uh, oh, you say God. You say where is God today? Maybe the maybe the apple and snake didn't happen. You know, I'm just I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm just asking you. Do you think? Is not the devil. Do you think you're demon possessed? No. Okay. What? There's no deliverance unless you want it. If you want to be delivered from demons, we can do that. I am not. Okay, I'm saying there's no. There. I'm just saying. I don't believe what you're saying. Based on your satanic blasphemies, I got suspicious. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. But yeah. then again. Hey, what's your name? I and I really do like you. I like you a lot. Okay. What? I'm Jesse. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at you or anything. I'm good. Good debates, right? What's your name? Keith. Keith. Nice to meet you. I, I don't mind a good debate. Uh, I've been wanting to talk. Tell me about this and we're doing. Yeah. Well, this is the perfect spot to talk about it. You know, I'm. T I'm just. I'm just here to tell you what the Bible says. And the Bible says that God was manifested in the flesh. Why don't you do that? Get busy. Get busy. You can. It'll take you maybe six months, but you can do it. Yeah. Watch YouTube, Bonnie. You can. I read the Greek. I I've been studying it. I can read it. But no, this like. Where's the other books? This is 66 right here. Well, the ones that didn't cut it didn't make didn't make it. Well, what well, no, we have them. We have. There's the Gospel of Thomas that's out there, Gospel of Judas, Gospel of Mary. They're Can out there, something? but they're counterfeits. I got yeah. Um, but hey, Jesus why don't you just obey what we do have and forget about what we don't have? Obey what we do have. Yeah. Um, Jesus. He's in the movie, like in Jerusalem, right, with his uh -huh. parents. His parents tell him to stay close. They turn around. He has now gone. They find him later on. Preaching in a temple. I yes. Honor thy mother and father. He said, "I have to be about my father's business." He was honoring his father. But she knows if it's his earthly father, and it's all I want. Well, they didn't it say stay close. They didn't say that. It says that it states in the Bible. They that thought they were. That God put people in on earth in power yeah. for a reason, and we are to follow what they say. Yeah, they, they were traveling in a caravan. They thought Jesus was in the caravan. Uh, but he was at the temple feeling the call of God. I can relate to that. Yeah. But, well, he never did it again. You know, he wasn't told not to. He wasn't told not to. He was told to stay with him. But, you know, but, but, again, like, like I said, hey, I but listen, Je Jesus, Jesus grew and learned. He didn't know everything as a baby. He learned and he grew. What if he knew? Maybe he didn't know his parents left. Maybe he didn't know the caravan took I off. Say, it could be. Well, how many times have you wandered from God? Um, all the time. Yeah. That's what you need to be concerned about. But you know what? That's what you, know, that's what you should focus how much on. I wander, it's about where I land. Well, God wants to bring you back. That's why we're here to minister to you, to bring you back to God. You're wandering away from him, wandering into sin. I do, I'll give you one. I will be like, I'm gonna get like a whole legitimately I'll write you a junior. You know what? I think I'm out of cards. Uh I actually don't have any on me. But it's on it. It's on YouTube, if you go to YouTube, Open Air Outreach. That's the name of the channel. That's the name of the website, too. You can find my email and all that on the website. Do you need prayer for anything, Keith? Well, I'll be praying for your, uh, your children. I'll pray for you.
Sit down. Open Air right. Ministries? I'll give you a piece of paper. Yeah, that's it right there. Openairoutreach.com. You can find my Facebook, YouTube, email, cell phone. It's all right there. All right, Keith. God bless you. Take care. Amen. So we're here just to tell you what God has to say today. The Bible says God is calling all men everywhere to repent. Because he's appointed a day when he will judge the world. Why should you repent? Because God will burn you forever. Yeah, God's going to burn you forever if you don't repent. So get busy. Start repenting. Thanks for watching our video. I pray that it was a blessing to your life and that you were edified and encouraged by it. Please be sure to like it and leave a comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends. I've been traveling the country for over 14 years, taking the gospel to the lost, to those who need it the most, because America is in big trouble and is in need of the gospel more than ever before. All it takes to bring me to your area is a plane ticket and a couch to sleep on, and uh, we could preach together or I could preach in your area. But please be sure to keep us in your prayers. We're in need of prayer partners who will get behind us as we're doing battle on the front lines and the devil comes against us. We need Christians who will pray daily for us and for our ministry. And so would you consider becoming a prayer partner with us? Also, we live by faith as a missionary family. We don't know every month where our support's going to come from, but God puts it on people's hearts and he's faithful to provide. And so if God puts it on your heart to bless our ministry and to become a financial supporter, you can do that if you go to our website, openairoutreach.com. So God bless you guys.